Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Zip of Rage Quit TV. Gonna be casting game between Rosano, who spawns as that Teal Protoss, and Vile Illusion, who is spawning as the Pink Terran. This game is from the Thunder Toss King of the Hill, and Illusion has sent this to me because, well, after I saw what he did in MLG, taking out Spanishawa, Sheth, losing to Hey Pro, but he did make it into the championship bracket, and man, this kid is only 15. I had to get some more replays of him because I'm sure someone out there wants to watch his games, and well, I want a PVT. I said, hey, do you have any good PVTs? Like, okay, I got the perfect one for you. He is doing a worker's uh, pairing right now. We'll see if Rosano is doing that. He's got these two up, so maybe he did, and I just kind of missed it. Both these players are very high level. This is the top 200 king of the hill, so well, they have to be in the top 200 to participate or near it. I know the rules get a little bit relaxed near the end, but I'm sure both these players are good. I've seen Rosano play before. He loves gateway play. He's not a big Colossus user, and Illusion is a huge, huge bio user. If you want to follow him on Twitter, you can go to twitter.com slash vileillusion. I'll be trying to put a link up in the video if I can figure out how to do it. So you can just click that and uh, follow him on Twitter. He's going to be studying using Twitter a lot more. Birx is going down at 12. The pylon does go down at 9. The gateway looks like it's gone down at 13. The probe is going out to scout, so we haven't really missed anything. The probe is going to be scouting the wrong direction. Of course, he doesn't know where Illusion spawned, so he just goes whatever direction he feels comfortable with. It looks like it is clockwise. It's going to scout Illusion last, but... Illusion looks like he's going for a fairly standard build. He's at 14 supply, not getting any gas yet, so I can almost assume he is going to be going for a uh, gasless expansion build and using bunkers to kind of uh, save him. This is very vulnerable to any type of sentry stalker aggression, like a 6 gate off 2 base would demolish this play, most likely. I saw MC take out MVP with that once in MLG. And, uh, well, it is possible that could happen. There are ways to defend it, I think. I don't know. It just looks so broken. Looks like such a hard counter. But also, another hard counter is Blink Stalkers. Especially on Tado and Malta, as Stalkers do very well against non-stimmed Marines. And, well, since Illusion delays his gas so long to get his expansion up, as I assume he will be, his SCV is going... Oh, uh, his SCV's already going out to scout, so he's not proxying any barracks. He's at 300 minerals, so yeah, it looks like he is just going to go for that fast expand. The SCV looks like he's queued up to go there, and has he timed this out so he can mine those minerals and then start his expansion right at 400? Yes, he has. Wow, that is some nice timing illusion. Not wasting a second. Like, okay, well, I can mine these minerals, then throw down the command center. That'd be cool. A stalker is being chrono boosted out. That's a little bit peculiar. Um, that may be because the probe hasn't gone into his base yet, so he doesn't know if it's a 2 axe. He did put out a pylon after he scouts this base and this base. He knows Illusion is over here, so in case the probe goes down like it just did, he has a forward pylon out anyways that's semi-close to Illusion. And Illusion is hiding his one SCV here. If he gets lucky, he will be able to scout what looks like it is going to be a 3 gate from Rosano. He is not going to be going for a 1 gate expand. He's still just on 1 gas, and has Illusion seen anything? He has seen the one gas, the sub next score finished and doesn't see that second gas, so he may think something is up. And another stalker being chrono boosted out, and uh, again, it's a little bit odd. I'd expect sentries, as sentries kind of gain value the longer they are out, and they're not too bad at defending any early aggression. This one SCV is going to come in, the probe is going to see this, and it looked like the probe wanted to go expand. He's going to be throwing down that nexus anyways, allowing this SCV entrance to his base, which will see the three gate expand, and Illusion will know exactly what the correct response is here. He is getting two more barracks right now. Probably throw down a tech lab relatively soon, as he does. Okay, there it goes, but as I was saying, he does have his double gases. And getting a bunker and one behind, so it looks like this is kind of to defend against force fuel play. A lot of Protoss will just throw a line of force fields right here, say no SEVs at all. Illusion has one bunker kind of in the back, so once this one can't get repaired, well, he has to waste another line to block this one bunker, just spreading them out as much as he possibly can. This bunker won't be able to hit the Stalkers that shoot this, but they will be able to hit Zealots, and Zealots are one of the big problems to uh, the bunkers going down. And it looks like Rosano is just going in with a lot of Stalkers, so he may be going into a Blink Stalker out. He has just pure Stalkers, and Illusion is getting that Combat Shield before the Concussor Shells. That's a little bit odd. Nice Micro back on that one Stalker. Takes out the Bunker and is going to be getting back. Illusion was a little bit late to appear. There's no reason for that Bunker to get down. And he's going to just be rebuilding it. Has this one in the back, and the Stalkers may just poke in. 
as long as he keeps this one engine to the two engine ones in the back, he'll be just fine. And looks like this one bunker does complete, so I don't think these stalkers can do too much damage. Rosanna, though, just going to be poking in, trying to do whatever he can. And there we go. More damage being done. That stalker is getting micro back. If Illusion went for combat shields at first, this one stalker definitely would have died there. But no, Illusion went for the combat shields and not Concussive Shells, which, again, a little bit odd. Concussive Shells researches so, so quickly and it's so cheap, I don't know why you want to get it. Especially with all these bunkers, you don't really need HP on your Marines as long as they don't go down. And the Stalker's going to be coming back in here, it looks like. And he sees no Concussive Shells just yet, as that one Stalker did get hit. And he is going to be going back in and picking off SCVs, or trying to. This one SCV goes in the orange, and well, he took a lot of damage on the Stalker, so he is going to be retreating. He may just kind of try to contain his opponent to just these two bases, make sure he doesn't move out. Again, if Illusion moves out, well, the Stalkers can just kite him, and uh, Illusion will take a lot of damage trying to get to Asano's base, so Asano has complete map control right now. He is going for a double forge, which is a little bit odd. If I was Illusion right now, and I just saw pure Stalkers with no sentries, I'd be thinking, okay, where is your gas going? And uh, he really just didn't get these two uh, refineries. Has Illusion thrown down any scans? No, he hasn't. So I'd be thinking, where is your gas going? I'm used to seeing sentries. Are you getting blink on me? Illusion must be a little bit confused just seeing that pure stalker, or at least I know I would be. Especially knowing that blink stalkers kind of counters any bunker defense from Karen as they can, again, just ignore it. Get an observer, get vision of this high ground, blink up, go in, deal damage, blink back out, or just blink like across this little crevice, and then run away. And repeat. It looks like the one probe right here. He has a pilot here. May want to expand over here, or this may just be kind of full of vision. It looks like he's throwing down another pilot, really scattering those, and that will delay any push as well as giving him vision in case Illusion wanted to uh, do a drop. He is moving his forces down around here just to scout for any type of forward pilots as the stalkers were at his base, and now he's going to be taking out those destructible rocks at the same time that Rosano is. And also, Illusion is going to be taking his third base before this third nexus does get built. So it looks like Illusion is going to stay ahead on this econ. Keep in mind, he got this natural up quicker than Rosano. And the rocks do fall for Illusion. And uh, Rosano just going to be pulling all the units back so we can take out these rocks. And it looks like we have a double eBay being built. We have plus one just finishing. He has his armor already started, so we can start plus two weapons eventually. He'll probably just go straight into this armor upgrade or maybe favor more units. Nope, we're going to get into that armor upgrade. This engineering bay, is it timed? Well, uh, it's going to finish with about 25 seconds before we can do anything. It's timed it fairly well. We have, ooh, Illusion doing a drop to this low ground. And this is just because, well, he doesn't know if his opponent has any watch, has watchtower or units down here. By doing the drop here, he can almost guarantee that Rosano won't see it until he gets to his base. Because how often does a Protoss player have this area scouted? This is a very unique play by Illusion, really utilizing that terrain and positions as uh, he can do this. And this one pilot will be going down. Of course, this type of push would not work if they spawn cross positions. It only spawns, uh, works if they spawn close by air. And, uh, looks like Illusion will be picking up his units in this medevac. But one medevac does go down. And a lot of those marines are trapped in these forces. It looks like Rosano is going to be able to take this one fight. But Illusion, he is still ahead on supply. It looks like it will even out at the end of this fight. That zone does go down. This last stalker is going to fall. And Illusion is just barely ahead in supply. Orsano did kite that one Stalker back, but I don't think he needed to as well. The Marta shot as he died, and the Stalker did not fall. Going this units lost, we do have uh, Illusion losing a little bit less. But we can go over this uh, economy tab or the spending tab. You can see he spent a little bit more on everything, so he should be ahead on the economy. There may be a tab just for how much you spent in total. Uh, resources mined? No. I don't know. I don't think there's a tab that shows how much you've mined throughout the course of the game. That would be pretty cool to compare with that lost tab. This one pylon is up here. Another one over here. Rosano also snuck a pylon over here, so he is just getting vision everywhere so he can deal with drops. Also has an observer coming out. And a warp prism with Templar Archive, so it looks like Rosano may be giving up to do storm drops. And that's a huge SCV transfer down to this third base. The worker count is 66 to 60. 
And now it looks like a missile turret will be going up. No, it looked like he was building it, and then for some reason that did go away. We have Illusion moving out to take out this one fourth pylon that he did find. He is holding this one watchtower, but the warp prism will be able to bypass that. Four zealots loading up in it, and uh, it looks like he will be headed over to Illusion's base. This one observer kind of gets the full scout. Not the full scout, he stopped before the barracks just in case there's a missile turret, I guess. But he says, okay, Warp Prism, come this way. I know there's nothing here, so you can come this way, and we will drop a bunch of Zealots. And probably in the middle of the line, I would assume. There is a Missile Turret there, and we have the Ghost Academy up with Mobius Reactor Researching. So he is going to get Ghost with EMP very soon. And he's getting Terran Ship Level 1 upgrades. I don't agree with that at all. That is kind of a blind play against Colossus, at least not blindly building Vikings. But if Colossus comes out, his Vikings will have Weapons Upgrades. This drop does go up. The Zealots do have Charge. And, well... Zealot's not doing too much damage. This one SV looks like it will be falling. And Illusion just holding this one position. The Observer is coming. But back to what I was talking about. Uh, Illusion. He hasn't used any scans. He's just kind of guessing Colossus Play is going to come out. So he gets plus one ship weapons. And that can be good if Colossus Play does come out. He is expanding again, by the way. But I would much rather see him getting the ship armor. Because that will also help if Colossus do come out. But it will also help these medevacs. And we have four medevacs moving out right now. He is going to be doing a double drop, probably drop in this base right here, and pull all the units over here to this base, and then use these two dropships to go and destroy buildings. As we do see that queued up, this one pylon will scout both of these dropships, but Rosano not paying attention right now as, whoa, I missed this one drop that is just now landing into this mineral line. And now it looks like this one drop did bypass that third base. The dropship does get away, but he is doing another drop right here. Has taken out the pylon. These units may die. I don't see where that dropship is, but now a drop is coming in over here. At the same time, Illusion is coming into this one main base. And oh my god, he's doing a drop here again. He's dropping at three places at once. The uh, action is here, so I'll be watching this. It looks like he may get this one. Forge, it is researching plus two. At the same time, he's taking out a lot of workers. 28 workers have been killed so far. This forge is going to be going down. The zealots are charged in. This one nexus may be falling as well. It looks like this drop has finally been dealt with. But this nexus, oh my god, is it going to fall? The warp prism brings two zealots over to try to deal with it. The nexus is getting very close. Will this take it out? Illusion needs a few more hits. And yes, he does get that nexus up. The dropship does die going over to this lost app. What do we see? We see Illusion losing a little bit more, but he's done so much damage that we do see 28 workers killed, 157 supply to 134 supply. Illusion is just everywhere at once. He is taking what QXC said to hurt. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, there's three warp gates that could be coming. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, QXC is the person who got dropships nerfed, or he claims to be, because he just did this type of play, just dropping everywhere. And at a time in the beta... He used to say, well, my attacks don't need a lot of units when I'm playing. I just kind of think the game is telling me your attacks require more pongs instead of uh, pylons. And just did that. And just stole so much damage. That drop play is so hard to defend against. And looks like he has a few ghosts that are walking up. All those units are clumped. And those EMPs go off on all those sentries. One sentry is left. But no, that just got EMPed. And looks like Illusion maybe will take this here. But no. The Warp Prism dropped some High Templars, get some critical storms off because they were in that Warp Prism. They were immune to that uh, EMP, and that just saved Rosano right now. And it looks like he may be able to defend this. Yes, he will be able to clean this one up, but he's at 90 supply to the 150. Keep in mind, this third base did go down while Illusion. Let's see, click on these middle patches. 70, it looks like he's mined about a little less than two-thirds out of his third base. Going over here, we can see this third base looks like it is just now saturated. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm clicking on the mineral patches. They have a total of 1,500 on each one. Since we have 1,225, we know that only 280 has been mined out of that mineral patch. While we go over here, 680, 355, 929. This one should not have 915, by the way. Whenever you're dropping mules, you should always drop it on the closest one. And now that one ghost is going to go down, but he did get anti's off, it looks like, but a storm did go off. There was a High Templar up here that also did a feedback, and this one High Templar is going up in the lead. I don't know what that was doing, probably on attack move command because he was with the army. 98 supply to 160 illusion again. As we see, he just mined so much more than his opponent going over this army tab. He spent 19k on his army while his opponent spent 12k. And going over the lost tab, he's lost only about a thousand more. 
So back to what I was saying, you should always drop the mules on the closer mineral patches. We can tell he hasn't because these mineral patches are almost mined out. And the reason is you get one more trip if you drop it out on this close one, I believe. So the mules are a little bit more effective. And you can really tell where the mules drop just because of the saturated 200, 300. Of course, mules were on those two mineral patches. And this one pile is going out. It looks like the third base may fall again. We have high tablets in this warp prism yet again. And he's going to be doing a drop, but trying to try to sneak in there. The Vikings do pick off that warp prism, but a lot of high tablets fall out, but they don't get a storm up. This Colossus is going to go down. And it looks like Illusion may just be taken here. There goes the GG from Asano. You have too big of a leap for drops. I wonder what he said. I wonder why my profanity filter is on, but uh, Asano... I guess that's a compliment saying, wow, you are very good at drops. You can see that Illusion had taken two more bases behind that. He was just absolutely everywhere. And let's go back. I want to see that one drop play again. And if you like Illusion's play, feel free to follow him on Twitter, twitter.com slash Illusion. He does stream, and he'll tweet whenever he streams. And also, if you like my commentary, just subscribe to me. You're on my YouTube page, so I don't need to tell you the link, but here we go. The drop is going to commence, and we're just going to see exactly what happens. Actually, let's look at this from Asana's point of view, and then we'll go back and look at it from uh, the other person's point of view, Illusion. So, we'll just see what he's doing. He is kind of looking all around right now. He's like, oh, what do I do? If you just look at the minimap, there's so many just exclamation points. And there's Zealots just yelling, we cannot hold! The Terran player, he is absolutely everywhere! Rasana, look at all these dots on the minimap! Oh my god! You can go to the APM tab, I probably should have showed that a little bit earlier, but I'll show it the next time where I'm showing Illusion's point of view. Because this is just so cool, him being absolutely everywhere. And kind of seeing how these players kind of deal with it. So it looks like that is now going to be cleaned up, and we'll see him with his Nexus falling, and he won't be too happy about that. So let's go to Illusion's point of view. Do, 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 do. Go back two more times, probably. Why is it incrementing in tens? There we go, 20, 30, 20. There we go. Now we can go in Illusion's point of view. APM tab is up in case you want to see that thing spike. And here we go. We're going to be looking at how Illusion does this. So we see him right now just kind of macroing up. And he only has two medevacs on a hotkey. That is pretty impressive. He doesn't have them all hotkeyed. He is doing a drop right now, not even looking at that one drop. He is just focusing on the macro at his base. Now he's looking at this drop, gonna pick it up just in the nick of time. Doing that here, that pylon does go down, that drop does fall, but now he is dealing with these medvests. It looks like he's kind of queued up all of this. As it is just all just going to plan. And now a lot of folks gonna be going down, but again, he is just absolutely everywhere. Does that drop again? And he's kind of just looking at it. He's just amazement. He's like, oh man, I did queue that up. I did tell them how to do that so well. Again, always macro. Keep in mind, he's not really watching too much of the battle. He is focusing on his base so he can macro up behind this. And I think he kind of used those red dots as, oh my god, the units are now attacking. I got to pick back up or we'll look at it. So he wasn't really just watching the fight. And that's what a lot of people do in the lower leagues. They kind of just have to watch the fight. If you're doing those drop plays, sometimes you want to take advantage of the queuing system so you can just ensure your macro is on top of it because Illusion just lost all of that. All those units do go down, so it's very critical Illusion was macking behind this. If he wasn't, then the Protoss could just take his force and A move and win. But Illusion was macking behind that, so well, the Protoss couldn't do that, and hopefully you enjoy that. I'm not sure if you really enjoyed that player perspective, but I did. I kind of learned a lot how this, these two players do play and what it actually looks like. So uh, again... Don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And, well, take care. I hope you enjoyed the cast. Have a good night, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Take care, and I'll see you next time.